In a world that defines itself with X's, Y2Ks, and Z's, you're present for a third world war that's real, but you choose not to see. You don't care or ever dare outside of your complacency, but it's not your world, it's a new world order. Generation apathy. Basically, this, this process for us has been a complete labor of love because it started kind of the day after we transitioned from high school to college. And um, it's been nothing really but a commemoration of our friends, our friendship and the friends we've uh, had and lost between high school and college. And sort of about, you know, what happens when you're um, a kid and then you realize that you're not anymore and um, you don't really see the transition happen. And it's, uh, it's a very you know, distressing thing that I think all of us can sort of remember. Over your career, you've worked with some of the biggest stars in the business. It would take me all day to name some of them. Um, how is it different working with these four relatively untested young men than the larger-than-life people that you've directed before? Well, they have boundless energy. So the thing is, 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 is uh, bottling that energy, you know, and getting it in the right way. I mean, I think what's been great is that they've been so eager and in the best way about the show. And they've always stayed true to what the words and why they're saying them, which has been really good. Your character here in Glory Days is a little bit of the catalyst for the story because you have the big secret, which we may or may not want to reveal. But um, is there any kind of added pressure about having that kind of role in the show? Uh, no, not really, because I mean, I think I think the one main thing about the show is that these guys are all, you know, they're all human. They're all, you know, people, and and that's kind of like the main thing is that these people have these, you know, these these things, these secrets, these obstacles, but they're all the same people. They're all the same guys that they were before, but just more grown up. So, I mean, everybody kind of discovers himself, and that's how Jack, that's how the character of Jack discovers himself. Tell us a little bit about your character, Skip, and how you, you may feel similar or different than the character. Sure. Skip is, um, he's the cynic, um, very politically and socially savvy as far as those things go. Um, he goes off to Yale, sees things that he not, doesn't necessarily like in his generation, and he comes back and he's a little bit jaded by it. I am also very politically aware and try to keep myself very updated with things. I read a lot and stuff like that, but I think... I've had family that have come to see the show and friends come to see the show and they think it's ridiculous how close my character is to, uh, to myself. So it's, it's, it's just been wonderful to be blessed to, to do such something so, so real and so true. Tell us a little bit about your character, Andy, and, and how you personally relate to his struggles. Ah, well, Andy is a, he's a very passionate individual and some might say cocky, sure, very sure of himself. But at the same time, he's got a softer side that's like, he doesn't really understand what's going on and he puts up this facade of, I trust in people because I believe in them so much to a point that if they break that trust with me and they lie to me and or, you know, some kind of acquisition of trust that happens, and then it's like, you know, he just, he just goes and puts up walls and has a, a bunch of confidence issues actually like underneath. And it's this guy that we all know and you know the guy that puts up the front and he's funny and he's just, you know, he's kind of sassy but at the same time he's like, he, he's a really a feeling person and he's very weak and vulnerable. And that's how I see Andy. Tell us a little bit about your character and how you feel similar or different from him. Uh, well, Will is, um, Will is the guy in the group who has gone to college for the last year and hasn't had that that life-changing year or, or um, you know he he hasn't had felt that freedom that everyone else has felt he he's kind of coming back and saying you know forget college I'd I'd rather be back with my buddies and be back with the people that I love and the people that I spent high school with um, I'm different from that because I did go off to college and I met amazing new people and and I, you know, I, I had a blast.